Mars. It's captured society's collective imagination for some time now. And while we may not have found Martians just yet, we've found some stuff that's almost as interesting. These are 20 strangest things spotted on Mars. Number 20. Elephant Statue? You know the phrase, let's address the elephant in the room. Well, we're going to have a moment like that right now, except this isn't about an elephant in the room, but rather one on Mars. Well, kind of. Scott Waring, a self-proclaimed alien researcher, went and posted some very interesting pictures from Mars on certain websites that definitely got a whole load of people talking. He had been intently studying an image of the red planet's surface when he spotted something strange between the rock formations. The Taiwan-based extraterrestrial expert described the find as an elephant-like creature. The most outstanding artifact is a statue of an elephant-like creature with a short trunk sitting down and turned looking to the left. He then went on to claim how this is proof of life on Mars, no doubt, due to how the details of this statue were and that it clearly was only someone or something that had lived on the planet before that could have been the reason for the statue. I hate to burst the guy's bubble, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because while this statue is cool, and I can see why he would label it an elephant-like creature, it's very much a subjective opinion on things. Not not the least of which is that he was looking at pictures that didn't really show the full detail of the statue, to the point where he said that this is proof of life, eh, that could be rather laughable. One must remember that rocks take all sorts of shapes and sizes due to where they are and how life on the planet has shaped them, so is it a cool formation? Well, yes it is, but is it proof of life? Probably not so much. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. I'd love to show you everything NASA has found on Mars so far, but I can't. I can only show you some of it. But some of the stuff that can be shown is exciting, including this image, recorded by the Perseverance Mars rover. It seems to show some kind of biomechanic creature, but is it real? And what is it if it is? What do you think? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Water on Mars while this is low on the list, I do want to make it clear that it is arguably one of the most important things that's ever been found on Mars and continues to shape our desires to colonize the planet. In many ways, this discovery began in 2008 when the Phoenix Mars lander found that there was indeed water ice on Mars. Then in 2012, the Curiosity rover found an ancient stream bed that clearly showcased that there was indeed water on Mars at one point in time and possibly still it was within its mass in regards to the planet as a whole. So why is this important? Well, the answer to that is that water is necessary for all life, as we do know. The question of life on Mars has been baffling to talk about and prove or disprove ever since the question was first proposed. Fast forward to now and we're trying to find water on Mars in greater amounts, not only so we can learn what happened to the planet over the years, but so that we can figure out the best place to land when we try to colonize it. Don't forget Yet, if we do try to go to Mars, we're going to be bringing a lot of supplies in for those first several trips, all to make sure that the people there can actually survive. Water being amongst that, but if we can find a true source of water, or even water ice, on Mars, that would lighten the load significantly. It doesn't solve all the problems, to be clear, but it is a good start, so finding multiple traces of water on Mars is a huge step forward for the space age that humanity is still trying to achieve. Number 18. Ancient Structure? Back in 2020, pictures from the NASA Red Planet rover were sent over, and naturally a lot of people wanted to examine them, but not just the people from NASA. No, they put the pictures online for everyone to see and examine, just in case they were able to find something that NASA had missed. And surely enough, you know who claimed that they missed something? The Alien Hunters. The apparent proof arrives in the form of intriguing structures that are purported to be the remains of habitation 
location on Earth's nearest neighbor. Specifically, enthusiast Scott Waring, once again, would note that certain structures on Mars, and the pictures were legitimate just to be clear, had the look of being made by hand. He said that the walls were all connected and each made its own room. They appear to be the ruins of a tiny intelligent species that once lived within them. Now, notice how he said that tiny intelligent species, because according to him, some of the beings that lived on Mars were just six inches tall. He's even claimed to have found a six inch woman on Mars previously. Clearly the man is passionate about what he feels that he's doing, but that doesn't make him right on everything. In fact, many credited people have noted that Waring is going through a literal mental trick where people inherently look at something like a pattern on a rock and think, oh yeah, that looks like that, or it looks like this. So I'm sorry, alien hunters. This definitely is not the proof that you need to show life on Mars, but by all means, keep trying because we know that we can't stop you. Number 17, Dust Devils. Before you begin shouting, oh great, another story about fake creatures on Mars, this is not one of those. It's honestly about a real weather phenomenon that has been confirmed to happen on Mars quite a bit, known as dust devils. Dust devils are rotating narrow updrafts of hot air that are typically tens or even hundreds of meters tall, made visible by dust that's lifted up from the surface of the planet. This happens on Mars quite a bit, apparently, and they're known for taking the dust from the ground and shooting it up into the atmosphere which is all the more reason not to try and breathe without a helmet if you're there. One of the catches to this, though, is that while we do know that these things happen on Mars, we're not able to fully calculate why they happen. By that, I mean scientists have gone and made all kinds of weather models for Mars, and yet they can't figure out where the dust devils come from or even how exactly they're made on the planet. The question that you may have, though, is do we even really care? I mean, I know that I certainly don't. While dust devils are not harming us right now, though, they could in the future. If you think about it, what if we would just so happen to colonize in a spot where a lot of dust devils may occur? That could actually hurt people, wreck equipment, and most importantly, cover solar panels that are going to be used for energy. So yes, we do need to learn more about how and why these dust devils occur on Mars. That way we don't have to worry about them when colonists are potentially there. Number 16. Mars Quakes and now for another time of natural disaster that happens on the red planet, Mars quakes. Oh, I should be more dramatic about this, right? Mars quakes. Is that better? All right. A Mars quake is a quake in which, much like an earthquake, would be a shaking of the surface or interior of the planet Mars as a result of a sudden release of energy within the planet's interior. That could be the result of plate tectonics, which most quakes on Earth originate from, or even possibly hot spots such as Olympus Mars or the Tharsis Montes. Now, once again, you may be thinking, oh, he didn't pronounce that correctly, and you're probably right, but you also might be thinking, why should I care? Well, once again, I'd like to remind you that this would be something that those who colonize the planet might have to potentially deal with, and as such, studying these Mars quakes are vital in understanding the interior of the planet and realizing what not only causes the quakes, but where they might be focused in terms of region. Because if you take the the United States, for example, the people near California know that earthquakes could happen at any moment, but then people in, you know, Illinois, they likely never have to worry about it ever. Here's another thing for you to ponder. During April of this year, two of the largest Mars quakes ever were recorded, and not only were they large in terms of scale and power, but they were also two of the longest that had ever been put on record. That's pretty bad, because the only thing worse than a strong earthquake or Mars quake is one that lasts a really long time. I'll add this to the checklist of reasons we might not want to go to Mars after all. Number 15, Footprints on Mars. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon, one of the most important things that they took a picture of was that of a footprint made by Armstrong's boot. But why? 
Well, it was because it was history. He was the first person to set foot on the moon, and that footprint not only made history, it told us a lot about the surface of the moon and how it would react to such imprints in the ground material. So why am I talking about all of this instead of Mars? Well, that would be because, as of yet, we've not been to Mars in a literal personal capacity. Rovers and landers have all been there, but not humans. If we go back to the year 2006 and NBC's Family of Networks, they released a set of images from Mars that showed them to the public. They were all beautiful in their own way, but one of them would catch the eye of many, because in the corner of one of those photos, there seemed to be a footprint and it had many commentators all in a tizzy about it. People wanted to know if anyone at MSNBC could explain why there was a footprint in one of the photos called Ripples on the Road. and. The the caption stated that the picture was from NASA's Opportunity rover on Mars. The last that anyone had checked, nobody had ever been there. Many people jumped on that bandwagon, and thus NBC News had to release a piece about it, noting that it's not a footprint that people were seeing, it was actually a pivoted track that was made by the rover that took the pictures. They further explained how Martian soil acts to certain things like tracks, and as a result, the quote-unquote footprint looks the way that it does. So sorry conspiracy theorists, but there's no hoax here. Or is there? Number 14. The Face on Mars now, if you thought the last one was weird, just wait until you see this one. All the way back in 2001, which was somehow over 20 years ago, my gosh, I'm so old, NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft was circling the planet, snapping photos of possible landing sites for its sister ship, the Viking 2, when it spotted the shadowy likeness of a human face. The head was found in the region of the red planet called Sidonia, and the length of said head was about two miles long. Long. Hence the reason that the craft was able to see it, because it was kind of hard to miss. Now, as you can see from the photos, it's certainly something unique. You could also argue it's a bit frightening because it appears to have a lot of features, and even kind of resembles a man in a mask. Now, sadly, the truth was not stranger than fiction in this case, as upon further examination, the face was actually found to be just another mesa on Mars, and the reason that it looked so face-like was not because of the shape of the mesa per se, but because of how the shadows filled it out, all to make it look like a round face with eyes and a mouth. So children, what have we learned today? Well, that would be that even in the best of scenarios, you can't always trust what your eyeballs tell you. Number 13. Alien Tomb Look everyone, Scott Waring is back with his expertise. And you know what that means. If he's here, it's time for a big reach about alien life. As our title for the entry suggests, this time it would be about an alien tomb that was allegedly found on Mars by the Curiosity rover in 2016. Scott claims that he found the ancient tomb on Mars when he was looking back at a tiny skull photo that he had found a few years ago. He had never seen the tomb back then, but it was just right there in the center of the photo the whole time, and it was a totally different photo than the skull. The skull was of a tiny alien species, Scott claims, because it was taken with a micro viewer camera. He would then go into further detail about what the tomb was like and what it all could mean, but as you've probably guessed, this has been debunked by the experts. Just think of it this way. If we had found a tomb on Mars, everyone would be talking about it, because it would be such a great discovery, and so on and so forth. But instead, it's just another claim by a so-called alien expert that's trying to make people believe things that at present are not actually there. Now, look, I don't want to rag on Scott, but it's kind of hard not to when he makes such claims with very little to back it up outside of his own perspective on things. Number 12. The Face Hugger. Would you like to know the worst case scenario of time on Mars? It's not that the colonies would fail or that something would happen that would make the planet uninhabitable. It would be the very simple fact that we do indeed find out that we are not alone. That there are actually aliens living on Mars and we just haven't found them yet. Now fast forward to the colonists who would likely be there this decade and you can just imagine how terrifying it would be to meet a Martian and they're not friendly at all. Hence why so 
many are trying to stir up talk about alien life, such as in 2015 when another picture from a rover seemed to show a crab on a rock formation on Mars. That alone would be enough of a discussion because I admit, that thing does have a unique shape. But just because it's unique doesn't mean that it actually means something super important. But did that stop conspiracy theorists from talking? Well, no, because they began to talk about how it wasn't a crab, it was actually a face hugger. You know, from the Alien franchise? Definitely up there on the worst case scenario in terms of what we could find on Mars. Xenomorphs of any kind. Now naturally, calmer minds talked about how this was both kind of a thing where basically your mind was trying to piece together something by making it recognizable to you because there are no face huggers on Mars or even crabs for that matter that anyone knows of so we're probably all safe at least for now number 11 sarcophagus now, no, this one does not come from the mind of Scott Waring. This one is actually a set of photos from the Mars rover that seem to indicate that a sarcophagus was on Mars, and naturally, the YouTube community got all over it. A man with the username Mr. Enigma had claimed that something remarkable had been found, and said that if you zoomed into the image that was taken by the Curiosity rover, you could see what appeared to be some kind of sarcophagus lying on the edge of a cliff. Or maybe it's not that. In fact, many have called out this claim, including Scott Waring himself. And what does he think of it? Well, he thinks it's an ancient statue that actually fell over due to the flat area at the feet. Both of them are likely wrong, because if you honestly look at the thing, it's just simply a rock. And yes, it does have an odd shape, but you know, a lot of rocks do. So please, let's just stop this madness and move on. Number 10. The Thigh Bone Well, I tried to get away, but they just pulled me back in. If you think about it, if you were to find remnants from past civilizations on Mars, then you would probably find things like buildings and tools, and of course bones or other pieces of those that live there, right? Except nobody has, but that doesn't mean that people won't say that they've seen something like that and call it something like a thigh bone. The image in question was taken using the Curiosity rover's mast cam on the 14th of August 2000. 2014, and it would rapidly spread amongst conspiracy theorists as proof that Mars had once harbored life, prompting NASA to set the record straight. And you know they mean business if they wanted to debunk a theory about one of their photos. In fact, to this day, most scientists actually agree that based on what we do know about Mars, if we were to find signs of life, it'd be in things like microbes and not bones. Number 9. Ice Avalanche now I'm going to talk about something real, because as I've alluded to before, there's both water and ice on Mars in certain capacities, and there are some places that even have ice sheets. At the Mars North Pole, for example, you'll find plenty of ice sheets there, and every spring on Mars, the ice begins to melt. And when that happens, avalanches occur more times than not. A rover was actually able to capture the moment that one of them took place, and it no doubt was quite the sight. Once the avalanches set massive billows of dust are brought up and spread out everywhere. And needless to say, if we do colonize Mars, we're going to stay away from spots that have potential avalanches unless it's absolutely needed. Number 8. Mysterious Ball on Mars now, given that I've shown you everything so far, you'd be fair in thinking that this is another hoax story, but it's not. Actually, it's of quite an important scientific find. But why is that? Well, because in 2017, a picture started to make its way around the conspiracy boards and said that a cannonball had been discovered on Mars, proving a Martian war had once taken place there. But problem number one was that of scale. The ball was actually tiny, so it'd be better in a slingshot than it would a cannon. Secondly, it's not a weapon of any time. Scientists have noted that rocks like these have been found all over Mars and are proof that water existed on the red planet at one time and point. But how? Because these rocks, not unlike ones on Earth, were molded by water until they got round and smooth in their shape. Number 7. The Mars Spirals 
Also not a hoax, but something that was a genuine mystery for a time, if you look at any planet from upon high, you're going to see patterns that don't make a whole lot of sense at first. On Mars, we've already showed you ones like the pyramids, but this time it's a bit more grandiose, as there are spirals that are seemingly dug into the ground. You can see why so many people are interested in this. After all, it's something that could speak to something along the scope of the Nazca lines, potentially. However, after some research, it was found that things were a bit more low-key in nature, keyword being nature, because what caused these spirals were a long process of formation and erosion, literally shifting the ground just enough to cause the spirals to be formed. Number 6. Super Volcano Eruptions now, what's worse than a volcano? Well, a super volcano, of course. Duh. And they do exist. In fact, one of them rests right under Yosemite National Park. And if that thing ever blows for real, the term we're all screwed wouldn't even cover how much of a bad life that we'd be in for. These explosions are so massive that they can flood the atmosphere with debris and particles that can literally change the weather. And guess what? Some of those volcanoes exist on Mars. Spewing water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide into the air, these explosions tore through the Martian surface over a 500 million year period about 4 billion years ago. Or at least that's what nerds claim. It's believed that these eruptions may have been one of the major reasons why Mars is the way it is right now. And that's a scary thought, because not unlike here on Earth, if it happened before, that means it's almost destined to happen again. And if we're to partake in these when we're colonizing the planet, well, we're more than likely all done for. Number 5. Ghost Dunes now I'm going to talk about certain formations that scientists are using to try and shape the history of Mars. The shapes, they call ghost dunes, are the hardened casts of ancient sand dunes that were created when lava or sediments had seeped in and solidified around the lower contour of the dunes. As winds eventually dispersed the sand on top, the negative space where the dune once stood was preserved as a pit on the Martian surface. Now, any tool that we can use to try and learn more about Mars is going to be vital later on, so these ghost dunes will no doubt be studied continuously as they pop up. Number 4. The Shiny Lump now, if you think about Mars, it's a very dirty place. The nature dust and debris of the planet, well, that would cover just about anything with grime and wear. And as such, when you see something shiny on the ground, it kind of sticks out. Surely enough, the rover InSight would take a picture of a rock that does indeed appear to be shiny, and thus different from all the other things that are found on the red planet. The prevailing theory is that it was a meteorite, which Mars gets plenty of due to their lack of thick atmosphere, and so the metals might have have shine through in the picture. Now, nobody knows for sure, but it is a good and logical guess nonetheless. Number 3. Mars Rat now, Scott Waring is back, but for the last time, I promise. This time I'm showing a picture that is yet another rock statue, but instead of an elephant, it's that of a rat, which means that they should get along swimmingly. Now, on the plus side, you can see why it's called a rat. Furthermore, the rat was apparently so cute, something you rarely hear on Earth, that its fans actually set up a Twitter account for it. The bad news is that people like Scott Waring also weighed in on the rat and said that it was proof of life, and even that NASA had dropped the rat off there for reasons known only to Scott and NASA themselves. Scott, listen to me, you should probably get some help. Number 2. Ice Cliffs why, yes, those are some ice cliffs, thank you for noticing. Now, this will be the last ice and water topic, because finding any formation of water or ice on Mars is crucial for what comes next in terms of colonization and using Mars' own resources to help us out as we build upon it. Further study into these ice sheets have found massive ice cliffs that could either be a major help to us in the future, not the least of which is because, like noted before, some of these have avalanches that occur. And the thus deposit massive things of ice that could be used in the future as a water source. Now, nobody knows for sure for some time how useful it'll be, but when people do colonize Mars and need a drink, a friend is going to hand you one and say it was ice of you to drop by. Number 1. Life on Mars 
I've reserved this spot for the thing that the alien hunters and future colonists are hoping for in one form or another, that being life on Mars. There have been plenty of people who claim that there's proof of it, but to be honest, there's really not. I mean, not yet. That's not to say that nobody can look for it, but we do need to be mindful of everything that goes on in terms of the research and what is said of it so that nobody ends up causing more harm than good. If humanity is the first true life on Mars via the colony, that are hopefully coming this decade, that'll be a good thing. Or if we can find microbes or true signs of Martian life, then that'll prove something that we've all wondered for a millennia. But until then, don't believe the hype and the claims until it's become a reputable thing for the person who states it. I'd hate to have to make fun of you in a future video. That's all from the realms of Mars and everything that's been found on it and within it. Were you surprised by any of the things that were discovered? And do you think that interest in Mars will only grow stronger as we become ever closer to landing on it with people? Which of these things did you find the strangest? Let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.